Welcome back everyone, this is Eric here. And today we're gonna to be talking about a very cool little product, the X Products X15 and X15 Skeletonized Drum Magazine. It's a 50 round wind up style drum. Very, very good construction overall. I actually bought one of these back in January and I've been playing with it pretty much all year here and um, figured it was about time to do a video on it. The newer version of the, the drum is a skeletonized one as you see here. Basically all they've done is they put lightning cuts in the uh, drum itself, just uh, cuts down on weight and uh, also just adds a lot of cool factor. You know, they are very cool looking. Um, the base model of drum itself, the X15, uh, basically you wind on it on the front, these knurled edges, you just grab it and wind it and you stuff the rounds in and all that wind up action does is remove tension um, from the drum itself. Um, I don't know how well you can tell, but this particular one's been used quite a bit. Um, you can see where some of the anodizing's rubbed off, scraped away, a little bit of wear. Um, it's held up quite nicely. Um, the first time that we actually used one of these magazines, uh, I don't know if you remember, was in one of our uh, Shoot Your Stuff videos where we shot the oven up. Um, I was running my lower here uh, with one of the 50 round drums. They are designed for mil-spec lowers, so if you have a commercial lower, um, they're gonna be very tight fit. Uh, you might be able to make them work, but generally they are designed for mil-spec guns. I have ran them on full auto and they do just fine in a, in a full auto AR and with a um, Bumsky stock or the AR Defender stock. Um, so right there, no problems. We're gonna run the drums a little bit for you and let the uh, proof be in the pudding, so to speak. I am an advocate for the drums. The nice thing about them uh, in general as well is that they don't really take up too much more space than a standard 30 round magazine. Uh, you can see that this one just protrudes about the same amount as a 30 round magazine. Um, so that's definitely a nice thing. Shooting the gun offhand with the drum in it is definitely a lot better than a beta. A beta sticks out and makes it very awkward to, to hold the gun offhand. Um, but this uh, keeps it nice and compact, but still gives you 50 rounds of firepower. So definitely a lot of firepower there. You can see a 30 round mag, you know, sticks out a pretty good bit. So they actually take up less room than a 30 round magazine. I really like them. We're gonna run it a little bit today, see how well it does. We're just gonna do some mag dumps, rapid fire, a little bit of point and shoot, play around with them, see how well they do. So we got the older uh, style X15, non-skeletonized, and then we'll be running the skeletonized. So uh, let's get shooting. All right, we got a couple of the drums out here. We're gonna run the skeletonized version of the X15 first, and then we'll follow up with a couple of the non-skeletonized. See how well they run. We're just gonna do a little bit of offhand plinking. We got steel set up to about 250 yards or so. Just shoot with it, see how it does. All right, that first one ran real good. Um, the second one we're gonna run, this is one I've had since January. I've probably ran the thing maybe 12 or 15 times since I've had it. We'll see how well it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, I'm gonna load a couple of uh, rounds in the magazine. It's pretty straightforward. Just to, uh, I suppose, sort of reconfirm this test, we're gonna run a random smorgasbord of, of ammo. I've got some SS-109 in here, um, a little bit of M855, uh, a little bit of um, 55 grain Wolf, and a little bit of 55 uh, grain Barnell uh, lacquer coated. If it'll run all this stuff just out of there in any random order, in my opinion, that's a pretty good test. Tell us how well it's gonna work. Now to load it, it's pretty easy. All you do is just turn this little uh, ring and you drop them in. Um, all it does is it just um, relieves a little tension on the follower and allows you to just drop them in. You know, you, have, you just kind of have to find what works for you. I'm just going to grab random ammo out of here until we top her off, and uh, that's pretty much it. Rotate away, it lowers the follower down a bit, and relieves a little tension, and you just drop them in there. The SS-109 that we're running, uh, what's in this bag, is actually a little bit of uh, leftover PPU and a uh, pretty decent quality ammunition. That little AR I've got, I mean, the uh, Wolf runs it just fine, Barnall, I mean, I, I put whatever through that gun and it generally eats uh, pretty much anything I can throw in it. So we'll get this little puppy loaded with a uh, random smorgasbord here. I love that word. I love using the word smorgasbord. A lot of you Swedish types are probably gonna say, oh, you're not saying it right, that's all right. Uh, we'll get this little bad boy topped off. You can see how easy it is to load. Takes a second, because it's 50 rounds. But uh, we'll let Chad have a go here, and he's gonna do a little bit of shooting too. All right, let's see if I can hit anything with this smorgasbord of ammo that Eric gave me. Let's see how she runs. All right, let's give the uh, skeletonized drum a try and uh, see how it works. It actually, uh, actually pretty nice. It's a little bit lighter weight, I can already tell. All out. Tell you what, you can tell the difference in some of those rounds. They're a little hotter, but uh, ran great. Well, you guys knew that we wouldn't be able to leave today without doing something crazy for you. So we got the AR Defender set up on our AR with the X-15 drum magazine, 50 rounds. That's what I'm talking about, people. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the demonstration of the little 
X Products drums today. I've actually, you know, been running that one beat up one since January and it seemed to do okay. Yeah, it seemed to like the SS109 quite a bit and we ran these quite a bit at the uh, YouTube range day. You know, we were uh, running that skeletonized drum with the false tech bump ski on that little short kitty cat AR that they had and boy, that thing was just scalding them out of there. It sure was. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We have much more on the way. Make sure you've checked out our new website, www irakveteran 8888com I know that's a mouthful. It and is. And then also check us out on Facebook. We have much more coming. And also make sure that you join our members only section for exclusive videos, merch, all kind of neat stuff that we're going to be improving and adding to uh, in that particular section. Uh, there is a small donation involved, but you'll find that it's a very uh, small fee to, to get some really, really cool exclusive footage. So I appreciate you guys watching today and uh, hope we'll catch you soon. Have a good one.